everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. I am really excited about this trio of cards that I have to share with you because these cards utilize the brand new Tim Holtz color called Uncharted Mariner. It's a beautiful teal blue color, really pretty and totally different than any of the other blues in the Distress color line. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be mixing this color with some other existing Distress colors. We're going to be using oxide inks, but you could try this technique with the Distress inks instead of oxides if you prefer. I'm calling this technique Distress Oxide Ink Rub because we're going to be rubbing the ink pad over top of an embossed background. And this embossed background that I'm using today is from Simon Says Stamp. It's a brand new embossing folder that has a coordinating die called Alstromeria. It's super pretty and I really loved the detail on the flowers. You can see a good picture of it right here. So I'm going to take some white cardstock and one of the things I really like to do when I'm using a 3D embossing folder like this is to moisten the paper just a little bit by misting it with water. So I have a distress sprayer off the camera here and I'm spritzing the paper with water as you can see. Not a lot, just enough to moisten it a bit and that's going to help keep the paper from cracking as we work with it and emboss that design into the paper. So we're going to be using the debossed side, not the raised areas, but rather where the impression has been pressed into the paper. And that's because that gives the best results for this particular technique. So what you're seeing me do here is start dragging the ink pads from one side of the cardstock to the other and it's catching on the paper where the impression has not been impressed. So I really liked how it also captured some of the detail on the flowers. It almost reminds me of some of those plates where they were metal and you could lay paper over top of them and then rub a crayon or charcoal over top and it would reveal the design. That's kind of the same look that I'm going for here. So I used Uncharted Mariner, Villainous Potion, and picked Raspberry for the colors on this background. And what you're seeing me do is I'm alternating. I'm putting some of the color down with one color and then I come back in and I overlap with another color. And it's just allowing these colors to blend. I didn't have any ink transfer from one pad to the other. So I wasn't worried about any of the ink pads getting contaminated. Though you did see me wipe off my work surface every once in a while to make sure that I didn't stick an ink pad into the ink that's on my work surface. So here is how the background ended up turning out. I just love the colors on this one. And I was having so much fun with this technique, I started bringing out some more colors and I did it all over again. I ended up making three backgrounds. So here I have Uncharted Mariner, Stormy Sky, and Peacock Feathers. And I'm starting off with Peacock Feathers first. What I love about this technique is that you're never gonna get the same look twice. So if you do the same background with the same colors, it's still gonna look different even if you try to re replicate it. And I think that's what's cool. So as I'm blending these colors together, I really liked how the Stormy Sky added a little bit of a grayish undertone to the coloring. It softened that bright peacock feathers and you just have little bits and pieces of it kind of peeking through, which I really like. So here's another one that I did with Uncharted Mariner, Salvaged Patina, and Weathered Wood. These colors also really blended super nice together and I actually tried to keep this one a bit more stripey than the rest of them. I didn't blend this one quite as much and I really liked the look that this gave as well. These have a very distressed feel to them and I really liked how the colors softened as they overlapped. We got new colors in between. So anyway, this is a really fun technique. You can do this with any embossing folder. You don't have to use the one I'm using here. Um, if you are interested in getting this embossing folder or any of the other things that I'm using in this project, I do have them linked below in the video description as well as on my blog, so you can check that out. All right, so here are my three backgrounds. All of them are completely different and I really love that. And I think this goes to show you could totally swap out the colors for something you prefer. Now, I, of course, am using that new Uncharted Mariner, which is what I used on every single one of these. And you can see that Uncharted Mariner works really well with so many different colors. All right, so now I had to turn these into finished cards. One of the things I did was for every one of them, I popped the panels up onto an A2 size card. So I cut them down just a little bit so that they would have a white border around the card. By the way, if you notice my blue inky fingers, that is not from this project. I was playing around with Uncharted Mariner and another project and I had the ink all over me. So you're not gonna get this messy when you make these cards. 
For sentiments, I pulled out a happy birthday greeting and this big scripty hugs. I really liked how these two paired together. So I'm using the birthday portion from the birthday greeting and the hugs from the other sentiment. I'm also going to be using the new rose gold cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and black glossy cardstock. So the birthday greeting for this particular card was cut from rose gold. I just love this color and it paired up so nicely with the colors on this card. As you can see, I have not stacked these greetings. These are literally straight up one single layer of die cuts and I'm using liquid glue because we are putting this on top of an embossing folder and so the surface isn't totally even and I wanted to make sure I used liquid glue because that would help hold this down a lot better than something like micro dots, which is one of my go-to adhesives for sentiments. For this particular case, I really wanted the liquid glue so that I made sure that if there was a crevice, the glue would fill that in. Same for the hugs. I have just one layer of this particular die cut and I'm just gonna glue that underneath and I let that overlap with the T and the H from birthday. I just like the modern look that this has. Very simple and it looks really pretty. All right, so the last thing I did was I added some sequins around the sentiment and then all the way up to the top of the card. I just like the trailing look. I've been doing this a little bit lately on some of my projects and I really like how it gives some movement to the card. So that is a completed card using that background panel. And I did the same thing generally for all the other cards. The only thing I did do was I swapped out the rose gold card stock for Simon Says Stamped Matte Silver cardstock because for these two bluish grayish color panels, I felt like the silver was a much better match. But I used that same black glossy for the hugs portion of the greeting and I made the layouts very similar. So as you can see, here are all the cards. I really love all the detail and the imperfections of the ink rub. It just looks really cool on, on top of that embossed design. So all of these cards, like I said, utilize the brand new Uncharted Mariner color from Tim Holtz. It's beautiful. I can't wait to keep using it on my other projects. I love how it combines so well with so many different colors, not just blues, but pinks and purples. It's a really fun and unique color for the Distress color line. So I hope you were inspired by today's project. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. I hope you'll try out the techniques that I shared, including that ink rub. Don't forget, you can do this on any embossed design. Just make sure you use the debossed side of the paper, not the embossed. All right, friends. Well, I will see you soon with more to share. But until next time, I hope everyone has a fabulous day. Bye.